coach, uh, tough loss against the uh, Ohio Bobcats there on Saturday. Um, you know, you, you had a chance to look at the tape, obviously without giving away things, you know, did you come up with some stuff you wanted to fix? And, and what have you seen out of practice so far this week? Uh, I mean, a lot of stuff on, on tape that we need to fix. I felt, I felt like on defense we started a little slow, but, man, you know, we really took control of the game, I think, as a defense. Uh, kept us in a game offensively the first half. I mean, Jack was 7-10. to 10. We, we felt like we were executing, even, even most, of the, most of the third quarter as well. Um, but in the fourth quarter, we were, you know, too loose with the ball, gave the ball back to him, couldn't protect. Uh, all things that, that we have to own, we, I mean, it's, it's on us. It's on me. And uh, we have to be better. We have to do better for, uh, for our defense when they're playing to that, to that, that level. Um, uh, you know they got to keep the scores down as the offense has to find ways to we're find ways to change you know and so we've we've been evaluating basically everything uh, on the offensive side of the ball uh, coaches players everything and uh, we're still continuing to find better ways we've had a great week of practice we made uh, a lot of little changes a lot of little bumps and bruises so they're they're uh, uh, our training staffs do an unbelievable job of trying to get us healthy uh, to go out there and play a, a really good Miami defense. Um, and and I thought special teams, other than the one mistake on punt return, I thought they were really solid. So uh, we need to bring all three phases to Miami. They're a good team, and uh, they're dealing with uh, quarterback uh, two, uh, number two, and I, I, Gabbard may or may not come back. I don't really know, um, but we got to be ready for both, I guess. Defensively, um, against Ohio and then against Eastern Michigan, you know, at times you guys have switched to a, a kind of a three-three-five there with. Um, the extra defensive back and, and, and taking away one of the linemen. Does that work without Corvin moment and his ability to rush the passer? Probably. I mean, we, we put it in for Corvin moment. You know, he can do so many things. He's a Mike linebacker that has the strength and, uh, and power and pass rush moves to play like a D lineman. So uh, when we're in that sub package, uh, there's a lot of things we can do. We can play our base stuff. We can play some of the Oki stuff. And uh, so it's um, – and it looks different, you know. It, it's hard to it's hard to get a beat on exactly what we're doing, and uh, you know. But he is the key. We've had other people play that position, uh, but it was created for him, and and um, it's always best when he's when he's running it. Um, Miami with one of the best scoring defenses in the MAC. Um, what do you do on offense to kind of get things going a little more there, and what could be a tight game? Yeah, um, I mean, number one, they're deep. I mean. Chuck does an unbelievable job, and he always has, and he's a super smart football coach. Uh, um, and they have a great scheme. It's solid. You know, it's uh, they, they don't bring a ton of pressure, uh, but yet they're still creating havoc plays, which is that's the unique thing. You know, some people have to blitz to create havoc, and some people can naturally do it, and and they're coached up well, and this defense is one of those defenses. So, um, you know, we got we to gotta establish a run game. I mean, we have to find a way. We got to get the uh, – the offensive line playing at a higher level. We have to protect better, uh, you know, with John or with Jack, sorry, and um, and just so so we can give him a little bit of breathing room. I thought he had some breathing room. There were times uh, last week where he got to sit in the pocket seven to ten, like I said in the first half. Um, but you know, he got banged up with that knee, and he he wasn't ever really the same. And uh, we're evaluating that as well. So uh, so we we do we have to change some things, and uh, and we are. Looking into everything and, and changes will be made. Adam Vandervest got a start up front. What did you think of Adam's play? I thought he did great. You know, uh, first game, I mean, I really, I think I told you guys last week, I, I really felt like he would be a starter this year. Um, had an off season shoulder surgery, which really set him back. Um, and he, I think he got back to the weight room in July. So he j lifted all July, lifted all August, all of September. And really, once we hit October, he really started looking like himself again. He's huge, long, quick feet. Um, going to get, going to be really strong someday. I mean, someday he's going to be a dominant uh, tackle, I believe, in this league. But uh, you know, for his first start, I mean, he got he got beat underneath a couple times, but he always kept his hands on on the receiver, or sorry, on the uh, DN, which allowed the quarterback to maneuver in the pocket and buy some time. But a couple freshman mistakes, which was kind of to be expected. Mostly a mental, not physical, mental mistakes where he went the wrong way. Um, but man, for a first start, I think he did a great job, and, and uh, you know, hopefully he continues to grow from there. Miami seems to play behind their defense. They try to shorten the game, run the ball. They got a mobile quarterback. What do you see in their offense? 
Yeah, they do a good job. They play complimentary football, you know, and, uh, you know, their defense is a very a huge, strong part of their team, and uh, they run the ball. They're smart with their quarterback. I mean, they it's third down and long, and, and they'll run inside zone punt. You know, they're not going to put uh, their quarterback in bad situations, and uh, that's something we have to do a better job of. One, don't get in the third and long, and if you do every once in a while, you run inside zone and punt because uh, the dropping back in, in certain situations puts a lot of pressure on a lot of people. It puts pressure on your quarterback, puts pressure on your own line, and your chances of turning the ball over go up. And so, uh, but yeah, I think they really play a smart brand of football, lean on the things that are their strengths, and it's it's allowed them to stay in a lot of games. Now when Gabbert's playing, they're a little bit more um, traditional, a little bit more explosive. They'll throw it a little bit more. Um, so, you know, depending on who's out there, you know, I, I think they do a great job of – that's why they're always a solid team because they, they, they always find a way, depending on where their strength is, to play complementary football. Anybody stand out on that Miami defense? They've got a lot of older guys or middle linebackers in his seventh year, McWood. Yeah, there's, yeah, I mean, I'd say him. I mean, a bunch of them. There's, they lost five uh, – I think they have five returning starters and five transfers that came in. You know, and some of the transfers we recruited as well, so we know them and – uh, I, don't, I mean, they're strong everywhere. I, I, there's, there's really not. I don't think there's a weakness to this defense. Uh, they play together well. They communicate well. Um, like I said, it's not the most complicated thing in the world. You know, they just they do it very well. And uh, you got to you got to execute, and protect, and uh, and they're gonna they're gonna load the box and make it hard to run the ball. Uh, but you still got to find a way to do it. You know, so uh, and and so it's gonna be a big challenge for our offense.